Well, he's the grandson of billionaire investor Warren Buffett. And in addition to co-authoring a book coming out next month with his father, Howard Buffett, it's called 40 Chances, Finding Hope in a Hungry World. Howard Buffett is co-teaching a course at Columbia School of International and Public Affairs. And Howard joins us this morning. Great to see you Great here. Great to see you as well, Betty. Thank you. Okay, so this is your first TV interview, isn't it? It is, yeah, and it's actually the first time we're talking about 40 Chances on air as well. Oh, great. So thank you. Okay, well, no, thanks for, thanks for doing that on our program. Okay, so Howard, tell us first about this course that you're teaching at Columbia, because Columbia University clearly has a big place in the Buffett family. Absolutely, and so this is, a, like you said, the School of International and Public Affairs, and the class is called Public Management Innovation, and it's with an individual who was a mentor of mine when I was at Columbia named Bill Emick. Okay. And he and uh, another individual, Steve Cohen, they kind of wrote the book on public management. And so uh, Bill invited me to come co-teach with him in this course and to talk about the ways in which government and philanthropy can be more effective about bringing social change, you know, and anywhere in the world, really. Right. And this is all in conjunction with the book that you're releasing with your father, Howard Buffett, yep. called 40 Chances. So tell me how all that fits in together then. No, sure. Well, thankfully, uh, again, like I said, Bill's been an unbelievable mentor uh, in this course. And he invited uh, me to bring in 40 Chances, which uh, is actually not released yet. So we have the galley copy of the book for students so that they can read it. And we've organized a lot of our case studies and our lectures uh, pulling from the various chapters that are found in the book. And so okay. it's been nice to adapt over the management techniques that we explore in a more narrative form throughout 40 Chances, but into a bit more of a technical conversation for the students. So you're trying to get them to understand more what? About how, to, uh, about how philanthropy works and, yes. how, and, how to, and how to evoke change then through that? Absolutely. It's about how to be the most effective uh, that they can in terms of bringing about social change or improving society. And okay. This can be through public programs, whether it's a government agency or, or through an aid program, or it can be through a foundation or an NGO uh, you know, working in, in, in a difficult place somewhere around the world. Right. And you've brought your experience because you, you have been executive director of the Howard Buffett right. Foundation. So, and you've yep. been working on this, uh, on this for quite, many, quite a few years even though you're so young, but uh, <laughs> how have you brought in, let's say, investing principles from Warren Buffett, from your grandfather, sure. into this? No, of course. Well, what's been so nice about working with my, my father so closely is seeing the way that he has brought the values that Warren has made so successful at Berkshire Hathaway into the operations of the foundation. And so for me, I've been able to kind of sit back and watch the way that that's evolved and developed over the years and to kind of adapt that over to a social version of value investing or social value investing. So what does that mean exactly? So that's really, it's looking at the way that, uh, that Warren has operated Berkshire in, in such a successful way. It's about finding the right managers okay. for the organizations that you want to partner with and then entrusting them and empowering them to do their job the best that they can. It's about investing in their success. And from a philanthropic standpoint, you need to do the exact same thing. If you're a foundation or an aid agency, you have to find the right managers of the organizations that you're effectively contracting with to bring about your goals and your vision on the ground wherever you're trying to make social change. Now, is Warren Buffett involved in any way in, in, in what you're doing with 40 Chances or, or with the foundation or with your work overseas with Hunger? Sure. Well, particularly with 40 Chances, he's, he wrote the foreword. Right. And I think beyond that, you know, he's been an inspiration to both Howard and I for how we want to think through this and particularly the values that we have and the culture that we've applied through the foundation and our work. But, uh, no, thankfully, uh, Warren's been so supportive about writing this and uh, he'll be involved a little bit when the book comes out in October as well. Uh, do the students have a lot of questions about just the Buffett family? It, it comes up a lot. Yeah. Uh, it does. And uh, I, I'm very open and I'm, I'm happy to share with them uh, w whatever questions that they have. Uh, but I always try and bring it back to the content that we're talking about right. at hand and talk about our management styles, talk about how we're trying to really do the most effective job possible about improving the world. Now, uh, Howard, I know you're also a farmer, just yes. like your dad. Uh, which you don't look like a farmer, by the way. But <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> I think you. farmers come in many shapes and forms. Yeah. But, uh, but, you, but there's lots of questions as well about whether or not you might follow uh, in your grandfather's footsteps in business. Would you ever consider working at Berkshire Hathaway? Well, you know, I, I've got a, a profound respect, you know, for what my grandfather has done at Berkshire. And some of uh, the businesses are incredibly fascinating. And I'm constantly talking to the managers and just drilling them on questions about operations and efficiency and how things are going. Right. I don't know that that's that's going to be the, the right path for me necessarily over the long term. But if, uh, if my participation is needed or called on at some point, of, of course I'll be involved. But you know, for me, I've always thought through my life about how can I make the greatest change in the world in whatever position that I'm in. If that's mm -hmm. in business, then that's the pathway I'll go. If that's through committing my life in public service in some way, then I'll do that as well. It's, it's whatever will give me the opportunity to make the greatest change through my role in society. All right, Howard, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate Thank it. You, I'll Betty. see you in in Iowa 
in, in, a yeah. few, uh, in a few weeks at the World Food Prize. Howard Buffett, of Columbia University lecturer and also the co-author, as I mentioned, of 40 Chances, Finding Hope in a Hungry World. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. You,